Okay, absolutely nothing is different <laughs> since the uh, last video, uh, but I did get most of the uh, landing gear kit, uh, other than a, a few pieces and the uh, the Matco wheels and brakes and stuff. Uh, everything is here, so that's uh, part of it. The uh, the rest of it is in all these bins. Uh, there's a lot of you know smaller po uh, parts for hoses and fittings and. Uh, and whatnot. So uh, uh, the bulk of the bill of materials is actually <laughs> all those bolts and, and screws and stuff. Uh, of course, the the big stuff like the uh, the landing uh, uh, landing gear uh, nose fork is there, uh, as well as you know a lot of the bigger parts. Uh, those metal pieces under there are from the previous kit that I haven't put on yet, or the pe pre previous package, I should say. Uh, all of this stuff here is uh, the big metal pieces uh, for uh, putting in the uh, the main landing gear. And up here are the big uh, fire. Okay, today is December 23rd, uh, Thursday. Uh, I'm back from my uh, hiatus. Uh, I had a whole bunch of uh, uh, renovation and uh, landscaping and stuff to do and I just couldn't put it off any longer so I, I took about uh, three weeks to uh, to take care of that. That's why nothing is really different on here. It looks like stuff has actually receded somewhat. But uh, I'm actually working on is, uh, I've got this one here done. Uh, the fuel line uh, running through here and you can't maybe you can see it uh, there's a little grommet there and it runs down it run, pull the phone back uh, it runs down here and there's another uh, grommet on right there and uh, that's just sticking out obviously it's not going to be that long I just left a uh, a uh, big long piece so I can cut it to size once I get the uh, fuel valve on there so uh, uh, that's that's a ways from now but uh, so that'll stick out there for a while until I get closer to uh, you know really getting everything finished so uh, this one uh, I'm all together I'm happy with it uh, right now it's a little bit of a, a springy so I just put a piece of metal under there to, to hold it, otherwise it sticks out. So uh, uh, there's just enough room to uh, uh, to attach to that. Uh, there's actually a, about a half, well, quarter of an inch to a half an inch of, an inch of uh, room because the, the curve there is, is right up against. So that's, it's right up against there. So there, that's got about, you know, a half an inch to a quarter of an inch of uh, uh, room to, to uh, to move down this way so this won't be right up against the uh, the frame so down here uh, obviously I, I just could put a couple bolts to hold it in uh, this whole thing obviously had to come off so that's why you know the this is uh, off uh, gusset is, is sitting there so uh, this will all get attached back together I had to take this one off uh, so I could push this up just enough to get this passed so that'll get connected back uh, when I get back to it uh, this was a bear because the curve is so close to where uh, uh, where you have to put the this little piece uh, this little piece here on uh, so you basically got to get as close as you possibly can to the uh, to the the tool, this tool here to that you know to bend it, uh, it's really tough because it's got to be right up against the edge because you can't put it on late, uh, after it's been flared. <clears throat> so that that was difficult, and the the band is too tight for the the collar to go around, which is why that uh, makes it so difficult. Uh, but uh, with some finagling, you'll there's just barely enough room. I mean barely, like, you know, tenths of an inch. Uh, what else? 
regarding the front here, uh, I've gotten a, uh, a quote from uh, a fairly new company called De Sure Wings, uh, and they, uh, they're the ones that have been uh, really customizing a lot of the uh, the bead, uh, BD four C stuff to, and uh, they have a whole uh, kit that's uh, going to be available called a, I believe it's the BD four C S, which is basically a super custom BD four C. So you can go to their website and, and check that out. And uh, I'm probably going to be going with them. Uh, that'll be a Viking uh, 195 turbo uh, that's uh, stuck on the front of that. So uh, hopefully. That'll be happening soon, hopefully this uh, spring, maybe earlier if I get really busy. So that's basically the, the status right now. Uh, uh, the other fuel line needs to go in and then uh, it's the uh, funky stuff of uh, welding that uh, weldment that goes in, in there. So that's it for now. One other thing I should note. Uh, these two here, uh, I didn't actually put nut plates on them. I don't remember if the drawings uh, specified it or not, but uh, uh, I actually had to drill those uh, those screws out to to get it back off from uh, the initial uh, construction. So uh, what I'm going to be doing is taking this back off and put a couple nut plates on there. So uh, uh, if I ever need to get back in there, it's actually uh, removable to some degree. Uh, uh, everything else is fine, it's just uh, these two and on the other side as well, I'll have to put nut, nut plates on that side to uh, uh, it'll make things a lot easier to uh, uh, to put back together once once those are on. Okay, today is uh, Sunday, December 26th. Uh, I finally got both of the uh, fuel lines put in. Uh, takes quite a while uh, just getting everything perfect and bending the the uh, the uh, the line and everything uh, and the the probably the the second one went a little bit faster than the first one because the first one was a bit of a, a learning curve this is the the second one that I put in so uh, I have to just kind of go over some of the details so that is the uh, uh, the line uh, coming up from here, there's a uh, clamp that holds that in. So this is, you know, super solid now. Um, it goes through a grommet, uh, goes through a grommet here, then comes down, and then it uh, comes down here, and there's another grommet. And, uh, of course, that's way too long. Uh, I just left lots of extra. I'll cut it down later. But uh, uh, that's that's the extent of it. Uh, so there's a, a bend there, a bend there, and a bend there. So this one here, I should probably go into a little bit of detail. Uh, that collar, uh, of course, you got to put it on before you flare. But uh, uh, what I did that worked better on this one, and I really had to fight with that one over there. Uh, it was much easier on this one. Uh, to uh, to do the bend first, uh, and then uh, uh, with the collar, uh, with this collar already on, and then uh, slide the collar down as far as you possibly can. Get that rid of that blur. Uh, slide the collar down as far as you possibly can, and put the bar on for uh, for flaring. And you've got about an eighth to a quarter of an inch of uh, working room, so you can get in there. Uh, it was much more difficult with that one because I uh, uh, I just did things out of order and it was dumb. <laughs> but this one went, went a, a lot better. Uh, I had about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch of room to uh, uh, to flare it and then uh, uh, and then push it back up and you know put the thing on and everything. Um, so that is the extent of uh, of the fuel lines. Uh, it doesn't really seem like a lot of work. It's just, uh, you know, uh, getting all the bends perfect and everything is a giant pain in the ass, especially if you don't, uh, if it's kind of your first time doing it. I haven't even done it on a vehicle before, but it uh, all worked well. Uh, of course, you uh, you need uh, one of these things to, uh, to bend with, and 
I think I did another video with the uh, the tool that I'm going to use for the uh, uh, that I used for the uh, the flaring. So uh, I won't bother digging that out. Uh, next up, now that this is done, uh, these this was one of the, the the last things to do. Of course, I've got to uh, uh, to do the flooring and the uh, of course the welding is the the the, the bigger job. Uh, I'm going to start on that tomorrow. Uh, uh, so when once all that's done, all that landing gear stuff over there that's uh, waiting to get put on uh, will be going in. Uh, hopefully some of it will get done uh, during the, the Christmas holiday. Uh, I've got quite a few days off, but uh, uh, I don't have any illusions of getting all of it done because uh, it's a lot of work. But uh, I am happy that these are finally in. And there's nothing left to do. Of course, I had to take uh, this off. Uh, I had to take that uh, bracket there or that uh, uh, gusset there off. Uh, I had to take this off. So this piece came off. Uh, that piece came up just enough to push it up so I could get this out. Uh, and uh, I also... Uh, I think I mentioned it before, these two here, and I don't know why I did that, but uh, was it, no, it was these two here. Uh, uh, I hadn't put any, uh, I just used nuts, I didn't use nut plates, and it's impossible to get them off. Uh, so I had to, uh, I had to drill them out and then put nut plates on there and then, uh, and then screw them back in. Uh, so if it ever has to be taken off, it's, uh, uh, it's actually, possible whereas before i actually had to drill them out because once those nuts were on there because there's there's uh literally you know no way of getting in there because it's all closed so uh, uh that was a little bit of frustration but uh, uh i just used a, a large-ish bit to uh, uh to grind the head out and then it just popped right out uh, i should mention uh the easiest thing to get this in uh the easiest thing to get this in is to, uh, uh, once you have all the bends in, put it in here and you'll kind of have to uh, jiggy it uh, up here because it's just barely enough room to for it to fit this way. And then, uh, you know, uh, you get the, the to the one bend and then you come down here. Uh, and then uh, I probably shouldn't have had that so long because it was difficult to get in, but... Uh, then you can push that one through and then this one will have a lot of uh, leeway now that the, it's on the uh, angle where it's supposed to be and then you can uh, uh, finally pop this one in and that is why that hole is uh, all on the large side was because there's just no way to uh, at least I couldn't figure out any way to get that through going uh, from this direction it's just it was it was just impossible so i made the hole big enough uh, uh for this to slip through because this has to be on um uh, you can't put it on after you get the 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 fuel line put in so uh, that's why that hole is a little on the large side is to uh, to get that nut through uh so uh i think that is about it uh, so Next job is the uh, weldment. Uh, probably shorten those up a bit because they're a little bit insanely long. They only need to be about three, not even three inches long. But anyway, uh, I'll uh, I'll get the weldment done and then uh, uh, the flooring, and then it's off to the races with the uh, the landing gear. Uh, I have all of the landing gear except for. A couple of uh, rudder pedals. Uh, I have got one set. For some reason, they didn't send both. Uh, I've got one set, and uh, and I knew the uh, the Matco wheels and brakes and everything were going to be back ordered, so uh, uh, I can get started on the uh, on the rest of it uh, uh, while I'm waiting for the the wheels and brakes and everything to uh, to arrive. I I have everything else that I recorded in a a previous video. So that's it for December 26th. Thanks for watching.